<sighs> All right, fam. Okay, so let's break this down. So today, I'm actually, the last two times that I've went out to play golf, Alabama has landed two commitments, right? You have Zamir Smith, the prospect um, who's committed from uh, Maryland. And then today you have uh, Derek Smith from Selma, Alabama. So can you run the thumbs up on these videos too? I appreciate you guys. So I wanted to come on and basically talk about just the impact that Coach Kalen DeBoer has had so far at Alabama. I don't even know how many days it's been. I'm just posted and I'm at the beach just hanging out. I'm with you guys uh, just relaxing. But what's amazing to me is the fact that um, he's been able to make an impact so far and so quickly. And what I mean by that is you look to what he's been able to do. What's up, T? I'm doing live. Can you, you want to come say what's up? Yeah, I'm just, this is a pop-up live. Yeah. Um, I was, because Coach Kalen DeBoer, he got another uh, commitment. Can you say what's up? Hello. Because um, he got, can I have a drink of that? Is this a, what is this? It's good, I like it. These are, what it's like. What flavor is it, peach? Oh, that's not bad. Um, what's up, Aaron? No, so what I'm thinking about is this, is the fact that Coach Kalen DeBoer so far has, made such an impact in such a short amount of time. I appreciate it, Scott. But you know what? Like, this is what I really like to do. It doesn't matter where I'm at the beach. doesn't matter. Like, I, I'm, I love this. And I love this opportunity to be able to speak on this platform about Alabama football. So right now, I'm kind of giving some early flowers to Coach Kalen DeBoer um, because I really, really value kind of the new energy. And not to say that what Coach Saban um, didn't do, like, didn't matter. Of course it did. And the foundation is why we continue to see success. I think Greg Byrne did a really great job making sure that Kalen DeBoer was the guy. And you're starting to see this going forward. You look to what he was able to do on the back end of the class of 2024, getting Ryan Williams on board, getting Noah Carter, bringing in Parker Brailsford, Jeremy Bernard, Austin Mack. By the way, did you see that footage of Austin Mack uh, today throwing? I just saw it. I was out there on the golf course. I played um, uh, the Lynx here in Sandestin. Have you guys been? Uh, I'm not taking calls or anything. Literally just posted up. T and I are about to go get um, a bite to eat and probably a drink. We're, we're down here in Rosemary. So if you're over here and you see me, say what's up. So um, I appreciate running to uh, everybody. And, uh, man, yeah, Austin Max, a big dude, and he throws a really good ball, and it only adds competition to that quarterback room. I kind of go back to what, what Colin uh, – I'm sorry, what um, uh, Coach Cap Kapilovic was talking about is like competition makes the entire room that much better. All right, so getting back to Coach Kalen DeBoer. So when you look at the class of 2025 for Alabama recruiting, and I've talked about this many times, a lot of how Coach Kalen DeBoer is going to be viewed is based off recruiting right now, right? Because you can't win games. Um, you can cut all, everything looks good at practice, and we haven't seen them play in games. So what you can do is see how are you recruiting, right? Um, yeah, I know, Dwight. I was, this is a pop-up. <laughs> so you're going to be gauged on how you recruit during the springtime. These recruits are coming in. You had a bunch of guys in this past weekend. There's an, a lot of guys coming in um, in April. But how are you going to recruit? And which prospects are you going to land? How are you going to take care of the, the state of Alabama? <clears throat> You flip Antonio Coleman from Auburn, an uh, in-state guy from Saraland, keeping that pipeline after Ryan Williams um, has, uh, you know, signed, sealed, delivered to Alabama. Oh, and for those of you asking, I've been getting the, a lot of this inside uh, the comment box. Um, when is Ryan Williams' footage going to be available at Alabama? So I get it. There's a lot of things to keep track of. Ryan Williams is, uh, needs to finish out. Uh, before he gets here to Alabama. So he was able to sign, but we're not going to be able to see him enrolled until the summertime. Um, so that's when you'll see more footage, probably in August. That's when you'll see Ryan uh, w Williams. So um, kind of hang tight on that. Um, <laughs> no, Rodney, I, I literally, so I got back, um, played golf today, and uh, T's hungry. So I'm literally going to be here for only like 10 minutes. So she's like, uh, let's go down, grab a bite to eat and a drink. So I'm all for it. I just was like, I have time. I have my gear. I got the backdrop. Finally, like this morning, it was only, um, you know, 51 degrees or whatever. So when I was playing, I was out in Sandestin 
Um, I, I, I played okay. It, I'm playing in a tournament on Saturday and Sunday in Waverly. So wanted to get some practice in. Um, did well. I shot in, in the high 80s. Um, which is pretty good for, for right now. You know, ideally I'd like to be in the low 80s or, you know, even if I could like, I, I think my best that I played last year was 81. Um, if I can clearly break into 70s, that'd be amazing. But whatever the case is. So you flip Antonio Coleman and then you get Zamir Smith. Uh, but today I think sends a strong message to the state of Alabama and I think the world of college football as well is like, he can recruit. And I think, you know, people were uh, notating that Freddie Roach was kind of the lead man with Derek Smith, who was a wide receiver out of Selma, 6'1", um, 190 pounds. I actually kind of looks like a beast, to be honest. And you look to the receivers that they continue to bring to Alabama, um, I really like it. So, um, Crystal, uh, yeah, Derek Smith was crystal ball to Auburn. That's crazy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like, uh, and Antonio, and this is crazy, he keeps on dunking on Auburn, right? It started with Ryan Williams. Uh, and then you get uh, Antonio Coleman, and now you get uh, Derek Smith. That's crazy. I didn't even know that he was uh, crystal ball to Auburn. That's hilarious. <laughs> What's up, Ballard Sports Media? What's up, everybody? I'm not going to be here for too long. Just kind of uh, chit-chatting with you guys uh, for a minute. I'm about to head out to, the, um, to Rosemary um, to uh, grab a bite and a, and a drink because I appreciate you guys. Um, better than me, Kyle, because I look like Happy Gilmore. No, no, no. I played with... Um, I, I played. Uh, I played by myself, but there was. Uh, they paired me up with three other guys. They were actually. Um, they were from North Texas, and the, there was two uh, high school students that played, and then a guy around my age, um, like their dad, and they were. They went to Allen High School. You know this Allen High School? Remember, like the sixty million dollar stadium? That's where the kids went, and they said that the graduating class was seventeen hundred, which is crazy. Um, so. I really like what Coach Kalen DeBoer is doing. That's kind of like the whole premise of my video is just to say, you have something good at the University of Alabama. This guy is winning on um, in the recruiting world. And I think it is speaking volumes early on. What is Alabama ranked in on three, like number seven or something like that, which is crazy. Um, there's been time, and look, it's way early. There's been times here in April, even in April under Coach Saban where they were ranked like 72nd or whatever. Um, Coach Saban always found a way to recruit, and it's hard to recruit now, right, because of NIL, um, the transfer portal, all of this stuff, but taking Claire to class of 2025 will kind of gauge us, and we've talked about this plenty of times, is the fact that um, this new energy, I think people are definitely vibing with. You know what was really cool? You say, did, did you see Zay Minty's mother come on and talk about um, kind of just how she feels comfortable with this new coaching staff and how there were there was instability when Coach Saban left and they were like, should we get into the transfer portal? What should we do? And um, I think, you know, like I said this to Smook the other day, can you imagine coming last year to Alabama and getting to meet Coach Saban, getting to meet Kevin still? And I'm talking in 2023. Fast forward this year, imagine getting to meet Coach Kalen DeBoer, Kane Womack, uh, Mo Linquist, uh, Jamarcus Shepard, um, Kapilovic, all of the new energy. I bet you leave very impressed. And I bet you also leave knowing that this new energy is going to be added to the foundation that Coach Saban already built. So it's pretty amazing. What's up, Kimberly? I see you guys. I'm not going to be here long today. I just kind of popped up on everybody. I didn't even notify anybody. Um, T and I are about to go get something to drink. But I just wanted to come on here and really, really say... Um, that I'm just elated on the job that Coach Kalen DeBoer is doing. And I see you guys inside the comment box. Jay, I hope you get better from uh, your knee surgery. Um, you know, and um, glad, to, glad to hear that you are healing up. And Rodney, I see you as well. Um, so I just quickly wanted to come on and just kind of uh, pencil that in. I do plan to be um, on tomorrow as well, but please uh, show Coach Smook uh, your support. And we really appreciate you more than anything. Honestly, I just... Uh, I really appreciate you guys supporting the product and, you know, allowing me to do what I'm best at, and that's create content based on the Alabama Crimson Tide. I really value my job, and I understand the resp responsibilities that come around with this channel. So, um, you know, just saying thank you again. And there's, there's a ton of great content creators, and a lot of people do a really great job, and I'm really proud of those people too, honestly, because it's a grind, and you got to stay consistent, and you got to enjoy yourself too, and you got to enjoy what you do. I would never be adversarial against any other, 
you know, websites or YouTube channels, whatever. I mean, everybody is trying to make it just like you. Everybody is trying to feed their family. Um, and it's cool, you know, the more and you know what? And I don't really see any anyone else like as competition, to be honest. Um, I just think of it as, um, you know, we focus on what we're doing. And we focus on talking Alabama football. And you guys have allowed us the platform to do that. So I just wanted to, um, hey, Jay, what's up, man? Appreciate you, man. Donated one fan funder. Yeah, I'm just going to, like, this is just a quick pop-up video. So um, just wanted to pop on. It's so nice here. It's, um, it's really a blessing to be down here um, at the beach. I'll be down here till Thursday. And then we'll get back to Tuscaloosa. And then I told you guys, I'm playing in a golf tournament in West Point, Mississippi on Saturday and Sunday. Um, and then I'll be back, you know, to regularly scheduled stuff um, on the 19th. That is our next practice. And then on Wednesday, the 20th will be um, Alabama's pro day. So just chilling, just enjoying vacation and just, you know, wanted to come on and just I was excited. You know, I saw that um, Coach Kalen DeBoer landed another one. So I just wanted to pop on and just uh, say hey and um, just say what's up. So I appreciate you guys being here for this short video. Please hit the thumbs up. And I appreciate you guys more than you know. You might see me on some more shorts or something like that, the YouTube shorts. So uh, stay notified and enjoy yourself and uh, take care of each other. And we'll uh, talk to you soon right here on Bama Football 